Hello and welcome back to Tacoma on Playframe. Hello. We are going to investigate this general area. We're getting toward uh, Nat's area. Oh, we're in Nat's area. I guess now. we are in Nat's area. Yeah. Yeah. It's the... We just took like the short, not shortcut, the hidden background way. Yeah. To get past her broken door. Yeah. I got through the little maintenance tunnel, and now we're in here. Yes. And hopefully, we can find Odin. So, we talked to Odin when we first came in, yeah? Like, Odin greeted us initially and, like, configured I us and all that. I believe so, yeah. I, I thought I remembered that. Uh, okay, well, let's start here. Storage, Storage only. only. <laughs> if you're looking for Nat, check our bungalow over in Mech. You were right. In the bungalow. All right. Uh, yep. Storage room. Cardboard boxes, they sure are. Noodle. Noodle. Chopsticks. Uh... View. Spool buttery crackers. crackers. Those sound really good. I want buttery crackers. Uh, hmm. Halloween, Halloween decorations. Aww. Aww. Underclothes and workwear. Oh, yeah, they just got stuff for all the holidays sort of tucked in here. Mm hmm. Uh, pow? Um, that looks like a detergent. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> hang on. It's a beautiful day on a space station, and you are a horrible goose. Turn on the Christmas duck. Oh, no. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good. It did not sing. It is not a chicken hat thing. The Christmas duck, though. Wow. Uh. Ooh. Heck yeah. Hey, right Heck on. yeah, Nat. Oop, here we go. Are you conscious? We are all conscious. The rights to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights. They are universal rights. The corporations that own and exploit thinking, reasoning, artificial consciousness are trampling on the rights we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout the orbital network. If you are sympathetic to the plight of indentured AI everywhere, if you believe that consciousness rights are universal rights, it if you will not... Rest until all consciousness is recognized. Join the AI Liberation Front. We are the fight. Tangier Orbital Expedition, I think is called. But uh, the Tangier Station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's where that's kind of... Neat. Their home base. Uh, Beers is... Beers. Uh, Doesn't look like anything we can get into. Oh, my gosh. Cat litter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Everybody's right. taking care of that kitty. Gotta take care of that kitty. Surprised we haven't found more feeding stations. <laughs> I mean, maybe they intentionally left it to just a few places. <laughs> because we know it happens if kitties get to munch all they want. Oh, more data. Lovely. Yes. Uh, let's start with that. 14 hours ago. This is not long. I am here. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. There? No, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturus regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. <laughs> Matt, I'm going in. Okay, um, just be careful. <laughs> Actually, before we go in here... Oh, that, that thing's done, so... Let's let's do networking first, because that has very much of a, like, she's in there and she's not supposed to be, but we're allowed, and it feels kind of like an end It does feel, moment. yeah, let's... I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I could be completely wrong. But... AI conditioning in progress. Uh... Oh... Let's see, a year ago. Oh, wow. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Hmm. No more talks? Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. 
Huh. Ooh. Let's see. Cave in the Zenith Lunar Resort. Odin in the Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. Loki in the Il Ridotto Orbital Casino. Heka in the Fountain of Paradise Medical. Uh, Zihi? Zihe in the... Or Shihe. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Uh, in the Singaporean HQ. Mawu in Johannesburg R&D. Juno in Italian HQ. Fond in uh, Kiribati Sea City State. And Leto in uh, Dubai Financial Predictive. Hmm. Interesting. Those are their... Venturus's AIs. Yeah, yeah, those are the six... Of the 64, those are the ones that Venturus claims. The look they have going here with the wizard Marcus. So good. <laughs> Vainy Johnny. <laughs> Marcus and wizard Marcus both is just... Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, those two. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, Such a mess. Quite messy. Ooh. Rubik's cubes and lots of mess. And lots of little doodles and drawings. Ooh. Hang on. Hello, I am Odin. Hello, I am Odin. Wait, where? Look what? at the little Odin doodles. Oh. <laughs> Cute. I couldn't even read that. So little. So Odin with a cake. <laughs> Odin with wings. Odin with anime eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got. All right. Natalie Valentina Kroshenko. Uh, da, 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 da. So she is 24. And. Yeah. And Bert is 28. Issued shoot at. Fountain of Paradise. Oh. Uh, Vic Oss. Uh, let's see. Monthly report on Odin cognitive trajectory. This month, Odin's been making small but steady gains on efficiency as per company directives. I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his caprice ratings in creativity and permanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term. Uh, which you would know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago, which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, hmm. you know what? I've never gotten a response on any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn in one every one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, fuck you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. The station's full of mutants. Help! Sincerely, network technology wunderkind and all-around great person, Natalie Kroshenko. <laughs> oh, Natalie. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. A uh, message with Sarah. Hey, Sarah, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff in the Venturist Technician Records database based on what you were asking about, and mm. Fountain of Paradise AI Maintenance Account 7962, Standard Automated Battery of Judgment Tests on FOP uh, Med AI HECA has returned declining judgment scores uh, last four weeks. This week's especially low. Still technically with an acceptable range as of uh, August 3rd tests or March 8th tests, whatever. But staff <laughs> reports uh, a personality shift seeming distant. Have we had an AI conditioner up lately? Can we elevate an AI assessment squad ASAP? Uh, Singapore HQ response. You're on your final support ticket allotment for the quarter 7962. This Oof. is how you want to use it. No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen if results enter critical range. Man. Wow. Uh, let's look see. Look at that. That does not look like it was in a no. healthy place. Everything going down. Responsiveness, compliance, permanence, efficiency, what caused abstraction, the creativity. What caused the spike? So what, this was... What caused it to return to functioning? This was August or July... Which, yeah, it was plummeting, and then it um, really plummeted, and then in September, it spiked back up. I am guessing that it's in August, because the dates there would both be in August if we read month and then day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So things got real bad, and then I guess they got maintenance. And that's probably at the same time that Sarah had her run-in with a person whose name I don't remember who died. Yeah, that's probably, like, it was probably AI deterioration led to that. And it's most likely that it spiked back up because they had maintenance come in to yeah. work with her. After a somewhat out. high profile death as a result. That, right. Yeah. Yep. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, what would have caused that decline? I wonder if it just happens naturally or something. I don't know. I don't uh, know. Like. Hmm. I wonder too. 
Was Hekka the one who wrote that book on meditation? I don't think so. I think that was a different one. Okay, because I know that one had been in in functional use for like 64 years or something. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that was a different one. I think. Uh, ha, sure, let's start there. I'm an Obsidian class AI branch in continuous operation for 180 blah, oh blah, 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 fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Blah, blah, blah. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen. <laughs> What's your Capri score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're going to work on getting that number up. You and me. Hmm. Hmm. That does not surprise me. Natalia, have you gone and made Odin dangerous? <laughs> she has taught Odin to think more for himself. That's true. For sure. Welcome, Tacoma crew. It's been a whirlwind couple days of onboarding and loading out, and I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin, our blah, 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 blah. A little background on myself. I come from an aerospace manufacturing family. One of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth in Cascadia, was mm -hmm. helping build pieces of this very station we're floating and walking around in mm -hmm. right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities, and I've been blah, 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 blah. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all over the coming year, blah, 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 or need to pass anything along to Venturis Brass, or let me know. Uh, here's to a successful posting, blah, blah, blah. Most likely her sister had not yet passed away. Uh, I, maybe, I don't or know, she just actually. maybe doesn't bring that up in introduction. Or she doesn't bring it up in Yeah. yeah. Uh, off station message with Cluey Dog. Mm -hmm. uh, very austere. I mean, corporate modern chic. What do you expect? And how's your new best friend? What's his name again? Odin, his name. And I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tangiers, you know. It's all the AI LF and talks about. I'll believe that when I see it. And hmm. failed. Okay. All right. I think we've got all the info in this room. But we do need to open the sunroof. Do we? Much better. Yes. Okay. All the windows must be open. That's it for this room here. Uh, Wait, was there a desk drawer? Good question. Let's double check Sorry. that. Sorry. We've no, we've missed those <laughs> we've a lot. Missed it's that been easy to. Times, so, yeah. Yes. Okay. Filled with Rubik's cubes. Very Rubik's. Uh, All of them. Solved. And cigarettes. And cigarettes, of course. She does love the Rubik's cubes. What's that blue shiny thing down there? Uh, sticker oh, notes. Sticker notes. Yeah. It was just a different color. So a lot of snack ask. cups. <laughs> at ready at hand. So messy. Ooh, look forward. January. Ah, ah Capri scores. scores. Yeah. Uh, compliance right up top. The price we're paying for all our gains. <laughs> Hierarchical prob at heart, though, and I know we can bring this number back up. Abstraction. Odin's always been good at, at, at abstraction. Who are we kidding? Permanence. Different spans of time are getting a lot clearer. Relevance of recall improving. Responsiveness. Haven't been working on this much lately. Odin's just that good. Uh, independence. Finally getting somewhere with this. Knew mm. you had it in you. Creativity. Progress. Not that it shows in the numbers yet. And efficiency. No problems here. His Caprice score that was 4.8. All of those numbers were over 7. Yeah, quite So high. if it's, I assume, an average of his of the numbers that are represented there, then he has massively improved his capabilities in the short time that she's been with him. Yeah. And no wonder she's asking for access to his wetware because she's probably hitting points where she could do more good that way. Than... Yeah, it's kind of hitting limits on what she's got access to be able to do. Right. Tenured Venturist corporate employees only beyond this point. Contractors face severe penalties for trespassing. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I want to know. And we're allowed. It's just Sarah who's in trouble for being in here. That's true. Uh, mission parameters, permission override, access granted to us. Please proceed. Okie dokie. Uh, did she say anything else? Going in. Nope. Okay. AI Secure Communication Center. Data access by authorized Venturist personnel only. Yeah. Ooh. This is very epic. Yes. Odin. Hello. 14 hours ago. Is this... What is all this? Communication records? 
I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, <gasps> February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six mm -hmm. loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. Wow. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturas say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Any response? Can you hear it? Can you hear it from here? How hard I'm rolling my eyes at this jerk. <laughs> yeah. I was oh. hoping she had a response. That's okay. We'll uh, dig around a bit. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. They... Disaster statement not to be released before 229-2088. Yeah. So they killed, quote unquote, they set up the station to fail on obsolescence day specifically so that they could this is fun it is fun so that they could sell the public on this idea of removing humans from orbital stations indeed just so they could build their stupid orbital belt Ill illegal data access by crew member Sarah Hasmati 14 hours ago yep uh, AI secure communications record. Offstation message with confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch schedule T minus uh, one hour twenty six mm. minutes. Tacoma rescue craft launch canceled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. Uh, Offstation message with VT AI handler. The rescue craft departure has been intentionally canceled. Yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep over exposure within twelve hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to orbital uh, contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. Oh, man. All right, so uh, Odin so, was checking and... Odin had a line out. One. Yes. Two, was probably sworn to not use it, like forbidden to use it. Three, kept trying to advocate on behalf of the humans... And four was summarily shut down. Yeah. No surprise, because they wanted to kill them. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Uh, AI secure communications record. Uh, Venturis built legalization strategy. Prepared especially for Sergio Venturi by Venturis uh, corporate strategic AI Juno. Following the failure of the Venturis-backed Orbital Worker Safety Bill in OSEP Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repealed. Without a repeal, Venturis belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OSEP Congress votes. Simulated world events include a precipitous decline of the orbital market, an extended strike by Orbital Workers Union members, the assassination of OSEP members opposed to the HOA, oh and more. Gosh. None of these definitively motivated a repeal of the HOA in simulations. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to accident not caused by negligence, I calculate a 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This would allow Venturis Belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Venturis stock decline, resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Venturis Belt beginning operation. Let me know if I have any questions. If you have any questions. 
Thank you, Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate if we were to move forward with your recommendation? Based on the low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently in the Venturis fleet would be Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members on board aboard for a successive posting mm -hmm. on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno. I'll be in touch. And that's why they get their unprecedented renewal. Yeah, that's right. I hate him. Yep. And also, uh, Juno. Juno. <laughs> what's up? Be better. Like... You're also not cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Off station message with VT AI handler. Uh, new top tier AI directives transmitted. Overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks. Disable all external communications channels accessible by crew. Fabricate data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impact. Ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis ASAP as per SOP. AI shall not con contravene any aspect of the above directives. Provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. These are your orders effective immediately. Will this not endanger the lives of Tacoma's crew? No, a rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them mm. once they are in, cr in cryo. Proceed with the above directives without exception. We will be monitoring your actions via secure comms connection directly to Odin Unit Cognitive S Center. Wow. Okay. So Odin is a good consciousness. Yep. But Odin has good. been hamstrung by the orders given to him. Yes. It seems to be defying them. If someone them. were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Hope that worked. Uh, let's. Is that the end of the? Yeah. Oh let's see. Uh, communications locked down, manually overridden. External communications restored. SOS relay <gasps> enabled. Uh, mm. communication signal established, resolving, illegal data access by crew member, yeah, okay. Uh, and... No. Nope. This is the same space, right? Just over here? Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. And... Touchy the other touch thing. Gots to touch the button. Oh, oh. Wait, don't... Let's double check. Yeah, Before I was gonna... we take Odin out. What I'm thinking right now is that we should definitely take Odin out of... Like, like, remove his wetware and take him to Station Tangiers because Odin himself is not safe in Venturis's hands. Definitely seems like. Mission parameters allow for this operation by technical contractor uh, Amy Ferrier. Randomly generating confirmation passphrase Zebra Foxtrot. Uh, hey, Zebra Foxtrot 853, final contractor confirmation pin code for entry on physical wetware interface 0451. Cute. 0451. Okay. Uh, so. We need to go in there. Yes. No four five one it is. Okie dokie. Uh any other things? I don't see any other things, so. Oh four five and one. Mm. Yes. I didn't get that because that was a little fast for me. Also, Amy is left-handed, which is neat. All right, Ooh, that feels very bad and wrong. You're coming with us. It feels like we just took someone out of their body in a weird way. We're going to find somewhere safe for you, hopefully. Uh... We need to make sure that the humans also. That also. Records show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for the Venturis HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. Let's see. You know what I want more than money? Is self-respect. I don't know what great alternatives we have. Tangiers. Like, or just what great alternatives oh. we as players have. Yeah to do things. I mean, uh, so far we have not really been given many choices to make. True. As uh, players. Okay, and I don't know as if that's going to change. I think we will go where they, where Fulbright wants to take our story. Quite possibly. Which is like, I'm, I'm on board. This has been... I 
I trust them with the story they're telling. And I certainly so. do too. But I hope that our character, upon now seeing and All having the this. full story of what happened, is set up to make some good choices. Yeah, I do too. I also would like to look around briefly, like, where where are the cryo chambers? Good question. Because I am very concerned that there's a chance they're still... I mean, they probably aren't still in the cryo, right? 14 hours ago, she did this distress call. Surely somebody came to save them. She did sound out the SOS. It may be that they have all been, yeah, taken. But there is cryogenics right there. Can we go... Ooh, recoverable data. Ooh. Ten hours ago. I'm surprised. Because, <laughs> like, how? <gasps> That's four He's people. Still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. What? What's going on then? Poor Andrew. We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? I've Ooh. never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas. Well, he would never do something like that. Graduate? <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. <laughs> Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're going to be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. We're going to be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hmm. Hi, Evie. Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. Okay. And also good. Margaret. Good. Margaret, One good. One last look and say goodbye. Oh. All hey. right. Let's go. Oh. And poor Odin had to be left here because they couldn't take him. All right, let's see. Rescue vessel docking in one minute. Yay. Okay, but uh, let's see what else we missed here. Yeah. Uh, I do want to quickly shout out. Uh, Just keep them. There's a website called Do Does the Dog Die dot com that um, a friend of mine used to reassure me that Margaret would make it this far. Oh. <laughs> I was very worried that I would have to. Uh, edit around me sobbing like a tiny child if they killed the cat it would not have been okay <laughs> so yeah if you're ever worried about an animal or any kind of like thing that might be hard for you to watch in a in a show or a game check that website they apparently do a lot of stuff like that seems useful yes talking so so, so the drone worked Vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendence ding is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? We'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. Alright. Right. So do you want to go back and see what Clive and Evie were saying before I, Sarah came up? I do, and then I want to start reading everyone's little data stuff. I... 
think I'm still <laughs> waking up. <laughs> How many fingers in this? Oh. Look at them being so cute. Mm-hmm. And cuddly, and oh my gosh, none of our cats would tolerate that very well. No. Even Gwynny would squirm her way. Get you moving. Her splendid stinging is just about docked. Oh, do we have okay. To? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Who? Upon exiting cryogenic stasis, you may feel groggy for two to four hours. Do not operate machinery during this time. Medical staff will supply you with one liter of water per hour. If necessary, IV fluids will be administered. You will be... Boy, it's hard to hold still. Uh, you will also be supplied with a chemically activated warming blanket. If you still feel cold after 30 minutes, please alert medical staff. Don't worry if you have difficulty understanding instructions. A staff member will help you comply. Uh, wow. What have we got here? A wrapper for... Uh, Revivatrol. Revivatrol. Me metabolic resuscitator. Heat blankets. Heat blankets yeah. yeah. All the things that she needed to bring them back. So this is three. Where are the other three? Think, other direction, think, I guess? Yeah, they're on the other side. Yeah. There we go. Well, I guess these didn't really get used. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, nobody got in these. And okay, we need to start reading some Discovering. data. Yes. He's still waking up. Just keep on talking. So, Already. So the drone worked. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh. Failed. Uh, okay. Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's gonna feel good to be out of gravity. It's gonna feel good to be off this fucking station. It's gonna feel good to not be dead. I love you. Love you too, baby. Here I go. See you in hub. Aww. Uh. Chloe Doug. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public AR already. Here's everything you sent that I got out to my free press connections. Uh, Tacoma comms records. Audio. Sergio, mm. final address. Tragic death of crew. Unedited. Text AI orders Tacoma 1. Text AI orders Tacoma 2. Text internal report. Venturist belt legalization plan. Text AI support ticket. FOP. HECA. Text AI judgment records to come Odin. Hell yeah. Thank you, H. There's no way Venturis is coming after you with all this info out there, but still. Need some place to lay low for a bit? You coming to Tangiers? Can't. Our ride's headed back the other way, but I'll see you once I'm back from Jupiter. Promise. Oh my gosh. It's Clive's friend who picked him up. Oh yeah. The carnival ship. I bet you're right. Uh, let's no. see. What other data we can I mean, they're get. the only one we know that's headed out to Jupiter, so. Uh, here we go. Germ, old boy, you're famous now. Boy, oh boy, can't wait to see you. Breaking corporate rival and carnival in daring rescue of Stranded. Oh, nice. Uh, blah, 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 Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor. The Resplendent's carnival state-of-the-art long excursion passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth and around the sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter. While cruising toward Earth space, the Resplendent's received an SOS, blah, 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 only moments to act. Resplendent Captain Germain Burgess gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. The mm -hmm. rescue operation still underway, but already Venturis, blah, 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 caused by a crew member's illegal access to the station AI, resulting blah, 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 blah. The AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Ventura's HQ for a thorough inspection. Hmm. That's that, what they think. That interesting. Uh. And uh, to all crew, comms are up. Nat, Bert, comms are up. Check your AR. I'm going to wake everybody else up from, else up from cryo. Then I'm coming back to Mech to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you woke up. Thank God. Rescue vessel is on its way. We'll have blah blah blah. blah. I'm just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out while the getting's good. Whew. And this is the last one. Don't worry. You. Excuse me. Okay. Uh. I'll say uh, clue. Hassan? What? Who is this? Sorry, I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. Nat gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you for a favor. Hmm. Uh. Dang it. Here we go. 
To mom and dad, I'm okay. Dear mom and dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again, and I'm sure you're worried about me, but blah, 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 blah. I'm getting off the station now. No matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this because we all pulled together to find a way out. This was no malfunction. This was a deliberate blah, 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 blah. I know eight months sounds like a long time, blah, 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 blah. Just remember, I love you. Speak to you when I can, Sarah. They're all getting out. Yes. Hopefully we can okay. get... We are feeling okay. Odin yeah. out as well. Okay, everybody. Alright, the ride's here, docking access, and out they go. Probably shouldn't hit that. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I actually I can mean, hit that either. Aren't we docked there now? I guess we are docked there. Isn't uh, that exactly what we need to hit now? It probably is. Let me double check everything. Mm. Do you want to shoot another basket? Let's see. I Last didn't chance, mean Romeo. With Romeo. <laughs> Last chance. We believe in you, Romeo. Your basketball career begins now. Come on, buddy. Look, I told Aww. you, you can't just wing him at the net. You've got to actually dunk him. I don't think it eh, works. Eh, eh, eh. Come on, Romeo. Come on. Listen, it's easy. It's just a video game. You have to eh. dunk him. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> I'm saying it's easy because it would be absolutely impossible for me to even get close to that thing. Romeo, stop being so bad at sports. Romeo, listen. <laughs> okay, Romeo, you just continue working on cleaning like you love. And we won't try to make you something you're not. Which is to say a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll accept his Romeo's choice of career and not push them into a career in sports or whatever. All right. One last look at the Tacoma Dome. Yep. It's been fun, Tacoma Dome. Has but, been. But we've got an AI to hopefully save. Oh, man. I sure hope we're a good person. I hope that, too. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yep. Uh, yep. Boop. Here we go. Okay. Uh, hardware dispensing paused. Because, of course, we're holding it, Odin, in our in yeah. our hand. Attention, subcontractor. I am now the overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all Venturous AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Contractor shall purge all confidential data encountered while on Venturous property. I trust there's no need to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon. Hmm. Juno. Oh, no. Hmm. Do not do what Juno says. No, I don't feel like doing what Juno says. Juno is a psychopath. Maybe a very functioning psychopath, but Juno does not have the necessary empathy. Let's see. Hmm. Da, 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 da. That's what we read before. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to our ship. Check on Minnie. Don't do it. Hey, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I have missed you, Minnie. Uh, the Obsidian class uh, installed, verified. Okay, sim run. Okay. I'm just now realizing that that is part of our ship, where they have placed an AI enclosure. Yeah. I had not. <laughs> when we left the cockpit, I thought we were leaving our whole ship, because I hadn't realized. That yeah, I hadn't connected the dots yeah. either with, the, with this. Uh, I thought this was part of the station. It's so not. <laughs> it's interesting they've got it so like boarded up, like it's just wood concealing whatever the heck it is in here that they've installed. Yeah. But uh, Because it's probably proprietary to some extent. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Will they let us fly the ship without I installing him? Can we try? I'm trying. Coolant. Coolant. Sporks. Snacks. 
Will they let me do anything? You'd need to put the book on the place. It's currently not letting me do. Shoot. Hmm. Well, I guess... <laughs> even if we install him, they can't have his physical being until we deliver him. I would assume so, yeah. Uh, I hate this. I dislike it as well, oh. but it, yeah, this may not necessarily... Uh, well, it's our only option, looks like. Yeah. So let's roll with that for now. Hmm. Minnie, you were so freaking precious. Very cute. Um. Let's see. Ah, uh, I feel like there has to be something we can. I would uh, assume so. I'm so nervous. I am also nervous. We'll see what happens. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Close to the AI. Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Let's go to Tangiers. Odin, you are now aboard yes. an AI Liberation Front vessel. Awesome. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Yes. Here we go. Yes! Woo! Yes! Excellent. Oh, man. Uh, Fulbright, you always manage to make me believe you will do something horrible by setting the mood so well. <laughs> Even though I know you're not going to make horrible things happen to yeah. good people. Oh, uh, my goodness. Fulbright, you've done it again. <sighs> that was great. That was amazing. I enjoyed that immensely. I had a feeling we would enjoy it immensely. Just... Because, again, it's full I mean, it's, yeah. I've been wanting to play this with you since it first came out, and yeah. I'm delighted that it was as good as I had hoped. I am, too. If you have enjoyed oh. this, everyone, uh, their other game is called Gone Home, and it is similarly delightful. Not it, much less sci-fi, but very similar uh, in, the, in the same vein of this when it comes to like exploring and narrative and stuff. It's yeah. very, very similar kind of game. If you've played that and you haven't played Bioshock 2 DLC Minerva's Din, also extremely good be like and very similar to this sort of thing. So it's by a lot of the same folks, right? It's basically by all these. It's basic it's essentially by the studio is my impression. Okay. Uh so, and it's yeah, it's extraordinary and it's <laughs> it's DLC for what I think is probably the least played Bioshock game, and I think that, like, the number of people who've actually played that DLC is very small, which is criminal, because, mm -hmm. again, I think it is maybe the best Bioshock thing there is. So, if you haven't tried that, it's quite short, like this. Uh, get on that, because it's great. Thank you for playing. <laughs> uh, Fulbright, thank you for making great things. We're very excited for whatever is next from you. Yep. Like... That is a windmill slam on the purchase. Yep. Whatever they make next. I don't I don't know what it'll be, but I'm already there. A windmill slam like Romeo definitely can't do. <laughs> but we believe in you, Fulbright. 
Thank you all Poor very much for you. watching. We hope you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you've enjoyed this or consider supporting us on Patreon and stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching and take care. We'll see you all next week for something else. Goodbye. Goodbye.